Uh, let's see. Here's the symbol that they used in the Beijing 2008 Olympics. And that too is a symbol of Zion. Uh, if you take it and break it apart, you get the Z-I-O-N. The rings as a symbol. Here it is what it looks like here. When you break that symbol apart, it looks like that. So isn't that what the 2012 London Olympics logo, uh, logo says too? And you got the elements, all the elements. You got the air, fire, earth, water, and so on. I think they have nature is one of them they have in Chinese. Animal too. The orange is animal. Green was wind. This little critter. This is what BB's forehead, a spiritual third eye. Yeah, I said you'll get to read through this, and once you read through all this, then watch his video, and it'll make a lot of sense. You'll have a little bit of a background knowledge on what he's talking about. And Rick Clay, because Rick Clay and Justin Stephanus, or Stephens, has announced that their belief that come the Olympics 2012, you're going to see one of the largest hoaxers ever portrayed on man. Oh yeah, they're ready to do Project Blue Beam and all types of stuff. Uh, fake UFO invasion. Yeah, it's all to get us ready for Prince Williams to become Christ. Because he'll be 30 years old, like that, on that date. And Christ began his preaching, his, his sermons, on that date, around the, his 30th birthday. Uh, so you, we get to go through the Olympic flame, which is lit by the sun, passes through Lhasa and Tibet on the summer solstice. The sun is most high. But they're going to use it as the internal sun of Lucifer. Oh, and we mustn't forget the Olympic torch symbolizing the veiled moon goddess Isis. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of Isis, as well as being a man in drag. But, you know, you have to do your research, you'll find this out. Uh, XXX explain the Olympics porn and the proof. And read through that. I said, I gotta get going here. My eight minutes, I'm only on 17 pages. I gotta speed this up again. The first Olympics were Russia or Germany came up with the little pyramid during World War II, right after, right after the summer of 32 Summer Olympics. Uh, let's see, what does this all mean? Well, you have to read through this. It could also equal 666, the XXX. And the mother goddess is Isis. The mother figure of the Egyptian Trinity, son of God, a horse. And then you got uh, Christ, is also a holiday, Christmas. Hot White Christmas is a pagan holiday. Easter is a pagan holiday. It worships the solstice and the changing of the sun dying and the sun coming back. Kind of is what Christmas is, because it gets cold and then it starts getting warmer after the 20. Around the 25th, it starts to get warmer and warmer. Actually, 22nd, the days start getting longer and longer. Uh, okay, you got the truth or always hidden in plain sight. Here you got this symbol, gray symbol here with the XXX. The three judges. Now, where it goes on, it's what I would like to explain, but I just don't have time. Uh, here it is, it says in the year 2012, he will be 30 years old. His name is Prince William, and the Olympic Games, without doubt, there is an imaginary wordplay at work connecting the significant event to the 2012 Olympics. His logo spells Zion, the New Jerusalem. Brian Gurish, Common Purpose. Brian Gurish discovered Common Purpose when he was involved with a group in Plymouth in the West England, helping people find jobs, so on and so forth. It's like, really, it's hard to cover all this. You can copy and paste this and watch that. How bad about, about that? Like I said, you can go through this and uh, you can stop this. I can, I can get on here like this, a couple of seconds, like this, a couple of seconds, give you enough time to stop, read, continue. Uh, hold it here for a couple of seconds so you can stop it, pause it, that is, and... Uh, continue after you read what it says. Uh, this is all about the numerology of it all. Yes, they use numerology, Illuminati. It's all, it all has to do with numerology, symbols, 
There's the guy that created the logo. Like I said, he's Alistair Crowley looking. And, uh, like Alistair Crowley in his later years. <laughs> okay, all the symbols of the sun. Kind of like what Jordan Maxwell was talking about, the sun symbols. And he said it's basically sun worship and everything. I heard somebody try to criticize him, tell me that that uh, Jordan Maxwell was a was a Mason. I go, well, so was Fritz Myers, and he came out and told you everything he knew about Masons, the inside information that you're not supposed to know, the secrets of the Masons. Well, just look at it this way: Jordan Maxwell's doing the same thing. If he is a Mason, he's coming out and telling the secrets of the Masons. So he's not a bad guy. He's one of the good guys that come forward, like Fritz Meyer. I'm trying to tell you, hey, this is what's going on. This is how they really think. <laughs> there are a bunch of eugenicists that want to kill off everyone and have a bunch of people as slaves. That's what these elitists want. There's some more symbology. Four chimneys. UFO flying around London, all seeing eye. You know, Project Blue Beam, that's where they'll be able to project an uh, image of God or anything they want and then transmit in microwaves a beam of sound into your head. And you'll hear it in your head. And you'll think you're listening to God. God's talking to you because you hear the voice in your head, not in your ears. All party Orwellian, 1984, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. They use that now. I hear government in the U.S. using it all the time once. Uh, the Olympic torch relay and religion of the New World Order. The seven chakras in the human body, which are the four particular importance. The religion of the New World Order. This is pretty good. It's a blue ba uh, the blueprint based on the spiritual sun worship. That's why I was saying it's inside Luciferian worship. Sun worship. Uh, let's see. How do you propose a multilingual planet that could phase out all but one language? Unless indeed this refers not to spoken language but to telepathy. Well, microwaves. They had Coke machines in uh, Japan. They took them down. They used to say, have a Coke, and you'd hear it in your head. <laughs> in Japanese. Here's the uh, your passport in England there. It's kind of interesting. The UK passport has this seal on it, and this is basically the tree of the Chatras. And you get to look at that. This is the Chatras the, in the body. These are energy centers of the body. Then the, he overlaps and shows you where they're at on the symbol on your passport. Interesting, huh? And this is 37, the full interpretation, and then I got to uh, go like this so you can get the end. 38. The interpretation the human chakra system is an observation page in the UK passport containing the number 11 sealed by two pentagrams and the sign of Satan. This design can also be found on the passport photo as the hologram where the seal of Satan sits appropriately on your third eye chakra. Check your passport, England, UK, and see if that's not on your passport. This is all very interesting. Like I said, this is it for now. I just wanted to give you something so you could read over before you go and find his videos. Just just put in Rick Clay and you'll find them. Until next time, this is Spellbinder with this information of, of the New World Order and what's happening in 2012. Be good, be good at it. Watch them. They're getting ready to pull stuff on us shortly. Until then, good day.